Hello, Machine Dana. <laughs> Hope you're doing really, really well. Hope you're having a great day. So, yeah, kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Twitch actually released something that was quite a big deal about a week ago. Towards the back end of August, Twitch obviously going through quite a lot of difficulty at the moment with hate raids and a number of other changes that are kind of spoiling the platform a little bit. And then, of course, Dr. Lupo, Tim the Tap Man, moving over. But in amongst all of that mess, Twitch actually released a new function, which, to the best of my knowledge, is a completely new function to Twitch. This is not the way that they normally do things. You can now set up follower goals and subscriber goals directly from your chat that are native to Twitch. And this is quite a big deal. And the reason this is a big deal is because this is actually a browser source that you can add to your streaming software. So that can be Streamlabs, OBS Studio, XSplit. You may use Twitch Studio, OBS.Live, whatever it is that you use, Twitch Creator Goals will work as a browser source. Now, this actually means that the browser source and the data for that is housed on Twitch's content delivery network, and it's delivered through the browser as a browser source to your stream before it even hits Twitch. So that's kind of weird. You're pulling data from Twitch to then just push it back to Twitch as a broadcast. This will all make sense when I demo it to you. But yeah, this is actually a big deal. And the reason why I think this might be a big deal, and I don't want to go into too much detail here because this could be a video of its own in the near future, but this could be a sign that Twitch may end up doing their own notifications and own browser sources and overlays and things like that. This is the first time they've done widgets. In a traditional sense, this would actually be a widget. You would add it as a browser source, say from Streamlabs or something like that. And I'll link some videos below if if you do prefer follower goals or bits goals or whatever else from Streamlabs because I've done videos on these. So could Twitch potentially be looking at other monetization options for the platform? Are they going to start offering people added value by offering different overlays and things like that? It would make sense because they obviously know their own APIs inside out. And here's the thing, Streamlabs overlays and widgets are not always overly reliable. So if the API is developed for Twitch by Twitch, things like the follower goal and the sub goal, which I'll show you in this video how to set up, it's more than likely going to perform much better than something from Streamlabs or Stream Elements. So yeah, I'm really keen to see what you guys think of this. Let me know in the comments whether you use Stream Elements, use Streamlabs or something else, whether or not you'll see yourself using the Twitch creator goals like this. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. If you do, please hit the like. It'd be a massive favor for me. And also, if you're not subscribed, because I recently found out the other day that only like 2% of you are subscribed. I'm getting millions of views per year and only 2% of you are subscribed. It's not good. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so in case you missed it, here's the announcement. I'll just show it on screen now so you can see exactly kind of what Twitch said about this. It is kind of weird because this did get released in the middle of such a mess that nobody really picked up on it. I saw a few TikTok videos, but these are people that don't really tend to go into a lot of detail about the kind of the changes on Twitch. I like to call it low level content, you know, but obviously this is a very big deal because it's using Twitch's content delivery network. And I'll show exactly what that looks like in just a second when we set this up. Here's what the actual sub goal itself will look like. And currently I've not seen any obvious way to fully customize the look and feel of it. Now you can customize elements of it and the name of it and other things like that, but it's nowhere near as configurable as the themed or CSS HTML sub or follower goals and things like that that you get from Stream Elements or from Streamlabs. So the way that you activate these, in your own chat, you would have to type forward slash goal. And we can see here, there's a little message that says that this is new. You can only have a sub goal or a follower goal currently progress and it uses forward slash goal to do that. And when we press enter, it doesn't do anything straight away. So you have to kind of press enter twice there. You first select whether you want a subscription or follower goal. Now, one thing I've noticed here is it based on sub points. It's not based on the number of subs. So if you didn't know, a tier three sub and a tier two sub will give you different sub point amounts. I think a tier two is two points and a tier three is six points, whereas a tier one is one subscriber point. So the number that's here won't directly correlate to your subscriber count unless you've only got tier one subscriptions. Now we can actually edit whether we want the followers or the subscription goal here, it will automatically pull in the data. So it's a much more simple user experience than we're used to on Stream Elements or Streamlabs. Now you can edit the amount here. Previously on Streamlabs and things like that, you can actually edit the starting amount, which whether it was real or not, it didn't really matter. It was completely customizable. Because this is pulling from Twitch's API and it's pulling raw data from that API, it can only use that data. And also here I've noticed you can't have donation goals because there are no donations, of course, on Twitch. I am surprised that they've not had bits goals yet. I guess they will probably add bits go at some point in the future. So let's go ahead and set up a subscriber one here. I've got 99 sub points at the moment, which I think translates to about 90 subscribers. We can set what the goal is. So let's say we want to set this as 120 and now we can give it a description. Straight away, we can see this updated below. Money for nukes. 
because why the hell not? So here's the cool thing here. This is a browser source that pulls from the content delivery network at Twitch. So it uses the same URL as your dashboard, but instead of your username and creator name, it's got widgets and then goal and then your username. So let's copy this link. Now, this is a really interesting thing because on Streamlabs and Stream Elements, they actually have a stream key that you should always keep really secure. Well, here they're just using like a really straightforward format. So in theory, you could type the name of anyone there and see what goals they currently have and then display them on your own stream if you want. I don't really see what much damage that could do, but yeah, you could, you could in theory, pull other streamers' browser source URLs here. I don't know if maybe there'd be some sort of restriction that would stop that from happening, but I doubt it because this URL looks pretty straightforward. And just to be really clear that this is coming from Twitch, I'm going to go into a new browser, paste and show what this looks like. It may be blank because I've not said start goal yet. Right, so it's blank at the moment. Now, the final thing I'm going to note before we do actually start goal and take a look at that is that within OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or XSplit or whatever, you need to size this specifically to 1480p by 160p. Now, don't worry if you're streaming in a smaller size screen than that because you can just resize the source, so don't worry. But this basically just sets the aspect ratio of the goal, and that's really, really important that you do that. Otherwise, it won't get all of the detail in there. So if you're watching this and you start making comments about why it's not coming through the full size, I'll be really annoyed because I'm literally telling you why right now. <laughs> so let's start this goal here. And remember this here, 1480 by 160. Now that doesn't inherently do very much other than showing a goal that has started in chat. And I would argue that that's a bit of a weird thing to do because most of these things you tend to set up off stream. You don't often set these things up whilst you're streaming, but I think with the convenience of how easy and quick it is to set this up, and especially considering it's done through a command in chat, it's quite a nice little innovation that Twitch have done here. And it makes it quite easy to just on the fly, add it to Streamlabs or to OBS Studio or whatever broadcasting software you're using. So that has now worked and we can now see on here, that's what it looks like. And that's obviously full screen. So I'm here in OBS Studio. I'm actually recording right now. So that's why you're seeing a million versions of me. All you need to do as per any widget or any browser source in any broadcasting software, navigate to your sources column. So add it as a source with a plus icon. It needs to be added as a browser source. Twitch creator goal. We can click OK on that. Now, as we can see here, it'll have the placeholder for OBS Studio or if you're using Streamlabs, it's the same type of thing. You want to paste that URL and again this is not a secret URL they're using a very definitive format there and we need to resize the width and the height so 1480 and 160 so let's click OK on that. We can now see my money for nukes goal is here. It's got 99 of 120. And every time someone subs on the channel, that's more than likely going to update a little bit more quickly than what it would through Streamlabs or Stream Elements. And again, we can just resize this and change where we want it to be. I'm really keen to see how they add to this because obviously Twitch is owned by Amazon. If you didn't know, one of Amazon's biggest businesses is AWS, Amazon Web Services. And they've got content delivery networks that service millions of websites throughout the world. The performance of AWS is notoriously very, very good. So if they're now going to host notifications through their own API, the performance is going to be extremely high and they could potentially easily pick up business from Streamlabs or Stream Elements who are providing that as a third party service using the third party API calls. So there you go. That was creator goals from Twitch using their own content delivery network and their own browser sources for follower goals and for sub goals. If you did find this useful, hit the like button and have a great day. Thank you.